And welcome back to HC Daisy with Fwip. This is the gear that I just achieved. And these are the people that I'm going to take from their lives. Oh yeah, team. Yep, you're goner. You're a goner. You're all a goner. Oh, I might have fallen, but uh, I don't know if they're going to come get me or not. Probably not. I'm going to wait here at the stairwell. The only place that uh, they can get down from. Oh, that's Gizmo, my friend. Oh, I'm sorry, Gizmo. You're dead now. So sad. So true. This one's looking for adventure. This one gets to have my sword. Do I help them? <laughs> yes, I do. Alright. Let's see. What exactly is next on the agenda? Too many items. That's what I've got right now. Way too many items. Such a shame. Eh, who knows? The same might happen to you. Don't need the extra eyes of Ender. Don't even need the extra helmets. I didn't actually realize I was Gizmo until my sword was out. But, uh, once I stab somebody, I figure, well, now I'm committed. Right? It... Weren't there two people there? There were two people there, I think. Let's switch over to my w wooden sword, so people will assume that I'm unarmed, pretty much. Let's drink... No, the sugar will bring down my hunger extremely. What's worth it and what's not? We're in the starting area. I say it's worth it. Let's powerhouse it. Powerhouse it home. I can run all the way through this desert until we reach a good place. There's somebody up and to the left, but it's not worth it to find out who it is. No. Hunger, hunger, hunger. Hunger, hunger, very bad. Whoever it is isn't following me, so there's that. This road, where does this road even lead to? I don't know. Feels like disaster. Switch over to our wooden sword. It'll take longer to kill the zombies, but I'm going to keep this iron sword for longer anyway. And you'll notice, these zombies, they don't catch up to me. They just follow. They're good at following. They're follow zombies. Hey, here we go! Oh, that's a lot of player zombies, though. And a lot of other regular zombies, too. Let's get them to back off while we enter this little wasteland outpost. I'm kind of fond of this area. It's not a big deal, by any stretch of the imagination, to, to like certain areas of this map. But uh, there are quite a few chests, and I've got problems. And there are zombies right here! God, wow, that's kind of scared me. I turned back and it was right in my face. Iron sword time! Forget it. This should actually kill these things quicker than regular. There we go. Wow, that was honestly surprising me. Oh, I need a bandage. No, oh, I'm fine. I've got one then. It is very important to be self-sufficient in this game. If you need to rely on other people, they'll probably stab you in the back. I kind of talk from personal experience and actually stabbing people in the back. You know, I'm not saying that you shouldn't trust a flip. I'm just saying don't, you know, attack a flip and don't expect him to come and find you later. Alright, so here we have some more player zombies. I'm always wondering if maybe these player zombies have heads, so let's kill this player who had a stone sword. No, don't need their loot. There we go, a stone sword is much better than my wooden one. I have so many arrows. And some food just sitting here. Glorious food! So hungry. There we go. Good. I don't need this. Now what do you have, player zombie? I can't even guess. We'll hopefully soon find out, since you're trapped in a cobweb. All by your lonesome self. Wow! You really exploded into loot, didn't you? Things I don't need to include, the occasional sword, food, that kind of thing. There we are. More stone swords. A plenty. I'm... Ooh, wait, those would have been good gear to have on me, wouldn't they? And that bandage, too. I seem to be very bad at loot management right now, aren't I? In fact, that chest plate would have been good, too. Come on, Flip. Grab some stuff that you could use. 
Okay, almost fully healed, and fully healed. There we are. Unnecessary, 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 unnecessary. There's so much stuff here. And a wooden hoe! That actually is great. Let's get rid of some of these water bottles since I don't need them. I'll even drink one and throw this away. That's a lot of loot I just got from this, those two player zombies. Not even from chests. So it might actually be a good idea to find some in, like, areas and just, yeah, you know, get some loot for yourself. Let's use these cocoa beans for something stupid, like dyeing my armor. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Let's get some dyed boots, too. Let's rock them hardcore style. There's little tiny ways like this that you can kind of personalize your character. There we are. Darker brown leather than anyone else. Not a bad plan. Okay. And luckily, two more melon pieces. The, the, the difficult part about this, of course, is that some things just don't stack, and so inventory can be a big deal. However, this stone sword is definitely my best friend, next to the iron one. Is there a difference between damage output? I don't know. But I'm going to call this iron sword, uh, Player Bane. Yep, it is going to help me murder a lot of people. If I'm lucky. If I'm unlucky, it, uh, it won't do anything and I'll die before I get the chance to use it. Alright, here we go. Some Tanya Bend houses that seem very interesting. Indeed. Okay. Let's head inside. Chests. Yes, glorious chests. Rose red. That'll come in handy. Uh, otherwise, nothing of use. And I think there's actually a chest on the roof or two. Someone's been up here. Maybe not in the recent future. <laughs> recent future. Yes. That's actually probably true anyway. And I checked that one already, didn't I? Yes. Uselessness. Uselessness. There's nothing in that house as far as I'm aware. Especially since people seem to have used cactus to build it up and cobwebs to hide it. No thank you, it's not worth looking into now. I don't actually know if there's a way to get rid of cobwebs. Oh, there we go, zombie. In a cobweb, good for me. There we go, he's gone. Oh my god, it's Slime23's ghost. Oh boy. That's... The haunt in this place is bad. Please say you've got a bandage when I kill you. Ooh, he had some he had some loot on him, didn't he? Okay, let's uh, heal myself up a bit. Unnecessary. Oh, he had chain leggings. Why weren't you holding these, zombie of uh, of slime twenty three? Very curious indeed. And a stone axe is probably worth a spot in my inventory. I don't know why. I just I I feel like I should have it. And the bowl is necessary, and so is this mushroom. Now that I have a wooden hoe and can actually collect mushrooms, these might be my best sources of food. Weird as that may sound. Okay. And again, another mushroom. Alright, fine, I'll take one. In fact, let's use this chest to get rid of the items I don't need. Uh, I hate snowballs, they're not that useful. I don't need, well, wooden swords could cook things for me in a furnace. No, I don't need them. Or these leather boots. Need to have spots in my inventory for quick quick item grabbing and running if if more zombies should show up out of nowhere. Probably refill my my water bar. Yes, we're doing great. Alright, now what should we do? Where am I? If I run to the north here, if I'm not mistaken, I'll run into the road that leads to a cemetery. But I don't have a shovel. So the cemetery is a bit of a moot point there. It doesn't doesn't give me anything. And it does lead to a snow village, I believe, if I head to the left. But the snow village is, like, surrounded on all sides by by mountain, if I'm not mistaken. And it's very difficult to get over the mountain while still having enough food and water. Because it's a long trek. And long, empty trek at that. If I'm not mistaken, again... My memory on these things are a bit shady. I think this is the broken dam that doesn't have anything useful in it. One of these dams actually does contain a secret area. But I'm not sure which one it is. This one's apparently incredibly boring. I'm willing to ignore that and run straight through the north. 
Maybe I'll end up in some place useful. Let's follow the current of the icy river if we can. No, it ends. It ends right here. Okay, never mind. In that case, we are running up through the snow biome. Oh, this is one of the the things. If if ocean biomes are one of the worst ideas you can go through in Minecraft regular time, then in Mine Z, one of the worst ideas you can go to is head through the snow zone because I'm going to tell you right now all the water is going to be frozen so unless you've got a bunch of water bottles you're going to have problems it's a large mountainous area so your hunger is going to do go down quite a lot if you don't have food and even if you do have food like you're going to have to make tricky jumps to get up the mountain look at this mountain look at this massive mountain but if I'm not mistaken there might actually be a tiny waterfall somewhere to my right I'm try I've, I've got basically cut and pasted knowledge of of all the times that I've played mine Z with Yasuki and I don't know am I right on thinking that there is something this way I, I might be wrong and I'll only know that I was wrong when it's too late and then I've backed myself into a corner from which there is no escape all right the only solution can that I can conceivably see right now is getting to higher ground and hopefully finding a way higher in this mountain because as you'll notice the snow is so annoying you might take fall damage from regular height based on how uh, how differential all this snow cover is but it does look like I can get higher here as annoying it as it is to get around these trees I think it's a possibility still of me getting over the mountain and once I'm over the mountain I think that's really the trick I'll be able to walk down much more easily. I might even find a little town or something on the other edge. Probably a ravine. I'm not going to lie. I think there's a ravine on the other side of this thing. Uh, let's see what we got here. And now that I'm up high, I still am sure that it was a bad idea to come here. But at least we can walk down with relative safety. Again, any point of damage that you take might cause you to bleed, so... This is actually a very dangerous game when you consider that if you don't have bandages, your any damage that you take can actually be your last, or potentially be your last. But I, I believe there is some food. Not food, but some water up here. And that's gravel. That's, that's different. I don't know. I look for different signs in the snow biome, which always looks like the same. And I think, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. No, I mean... <laughs> Maybe there's like a trail that leads to a town somewhere that I just haven't found yet. Uh, and I can start eating these uh, apples. I am woefully low on food. I gotta remember that I've brought a hoe with me. And if I see some red mushrooms, that basically equals four hunger and uh, some life back. Some valuable, valuable life back. Let's see here. If I follow this river, I might have a good chance of getting somewhere important. I know I'm talking quieter now because it is nighttime in the game, which is in stark contrast to the day, which I'm currently living in. But I'm hoping that this actually leads to, like, a town. Like, there is a town by the river somewhere around here. And you'll see, there are posts that are technically leading the way, aren't they? Like, maybe there's a logging camp just over here. The, the river split up. That's the problem. What if I went the wrong way? I say this way. It's dangerous and deadly, and I don't know if I'm even in the right place. Oh, where are those going? Are they going up or through the woods? There's a signboard. What's it say? Trust signs on your way. I was right. Logging camp ahead. Yopton that way. Okay, Yopton is fairly near the beginning area of the game. Not many people go there yet. It is a source of perhaps a bow. But I'm not willing to risk it just yet. And the logging camp... There's a chance that you find an enchanted sword. I don't know if I should keep following the river. Or if this is the right way to go. It is. Okay, thank goodness. Alright, we might actually find some people here. We're not that far from spawn. 
This is probably one of the more remote areas near spawn. But that's not saying that I might not run into people. There certainly are zombies here. Okay. So, to get to some very nice chests. There's a good one on top of the wagon wheel. A very good one there. Arrows don't need those just yet. Don't even have a bow. Right? There is a chest on the wagon wheel? Yes, there is. Okay, the only way to get that is to fall off the roof. A very dangerous proposition indeed. But you'll notice that all along this place, there are more chests. Some higher than others that you might have to use the vines to achieve. Alright, let's go grab this one over here on the side. Maybe there'll be some food. Hmm, no, nothing worth it even. The staircase is long gone, but at least it's safer than grabbing a vine. Alright, there's a chest in the middle. With a bow in it. Okay, these arrows are going to come in handy now. And I already have chain legs, but uh, if, I never, if I never need another one, it'll be too soon. I missed the wagon wheel. Wow. That seriously does have, like, an enchanted iron sword, and if you can get to it. So, wow, I went from being in a great position to being nearly dead. This is horrible. Let's hope that there's actually food in this upcoming house. What does it say? Useless, that's what. Useless. Uh, snowball is nothing I need. Milk and dye. Well, if I can get some shears. I can't even heal myself. You can only do that to other people. I'm surprised I didn't need a bandage after that fall. Oh, there's some shears, actually. Okay, let's uh, let's get creative with this. Everything I need to heal someone else right there. I can maybe use that as leverage so they don't punch me to death. Because you can't tell what other people's health are unless you right-click them with shears. And uh, I'm obviously in trouble. I can climb down easily. Let's see if there's anything on the roof. Probably not. Oh, there is. A chain chest plate. Alright. Sue me. I'm getting pretty good gear now. I don't think there's anything else on the roof, though. No. No. Alright, my issues now are zombies, zombies, more zombies, and I'm gonna die if I take any points of damage. Okay, there might be food over in those houses. Let's very carefully make our way down this porch and across the field. So far, I don't see anybody. That's a good sign. You can only get your water refilled from the source blocks, so I might as well head over here. Alright, uh, another bow? Sure. I can use that as a bargaining chip if somebody might have food. <gasps> Uh-oh, items on the ground. That means there was possibly somebody here recently. But, the fact that the chests have respawned since then mean I might be lucky. Still. Without any food, I'm a walking treasure trove. Hmm... I'm going to need to get food. I'm going to need to get health. Hmm. Very, very dangerous. I'm looking at my inventory and I'm not seeing salvation. I'm only seeing fear. I could try logging out here and logging back in, but... This logging camp was a good source of food. No, it was not. It didn't have anything. Except for good weapons. Now, I can't actually starve any worse than I am now. So, I think the plan right now is follow the river. And hopefully, come to some town which will have the food I need. And health potions. If I can get to, like, a small sanctuary, perhaps, through the the forest that's over there, I think that's where it is. Again, I could be mistaken, but so far my instincts have led me in the right direction. Huh. <sighs> I think it's a long ways to walk. But there should actually be, like, a church in the woods that has food and a few healing items. I'll be able to bring myself back up to full. I've got weapons. I've got better armor than I've ever gotten on HZ, which I'm calling it now because that sounds better than a bunch of text in the title screen. 
I've even got the healing items to maybe make me a valuable asset and join a team in the future. The only thing is, I'm so close to dying. It's a very, very strange trade-off. To be doing so well and yet to be balanced on the head of a pin, as it were. A safety pin at that. That's open! Not closed. Uh, I guess if it was closed, it'll be closed if I can get some food. That's why I should really keep my eyes open for some red mushrooms. Yeah, that's the only food I have on me right now. Or rather, the only potential for food. My bow is my best friend. If I do see another person, I can either ask for help or kill him at a distance. But if I try killing him, he'll kill me back. And with one health, I'm a goner. It's my only form of defense. That's the sad thing. That's the question, though, Flip. Are you going, if you see another person, to outright kill them and hopefully find their food? Or will you try to befriend people and you know that you will die in, like, one hit? I gotta read really, really careful even where I walk. Again, like I said, sometimes the slopes will kill you. That looks like a building. That looks like the building that has a crafting table in it. Not that I need a crafting table, but there might actually be a chest or two in here. Be very wary. Whip, be very wary. Uh, let's go up this little guard tower. There might be a chest up here. It's my bet. Oh, I'm right. What the heck? It was empty? Actually, if you look at it, it says regular chest. Right? It doesn't say H.C. Daisy chest. It's like maybe the people that were coding this map together forgot that there are chests in this area. You know? I better not take a jump like that again. <gasps> okay, we got another chain chest plate and a stone axe. And another stone axe. Why are there so many stone axes? I don't need them! Please give me food. Please give me health. Another chest is a good start. Another stone axe. Curses! Uh, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well. This looks like no one has ever explored here, though. There is that. I mean, if anything else, I'm safe. But I'm so close to death, it's not even funny. What about this house? There is a chest in here. With arrows in it. How about that one? Probably not, but I'm willing to take a look. No, these tents are not good. So, if you're looking for a stone axe, apparently this is a great place to do it. Oh, there we go. And more chests. Iron boots. Holy mac. Okay. More water bottle. Don't need you, but... Oh my god. My last piece of armor is the best armor in the game. There's a dude there. Please log out. Please log out before he sees me. I will see you in the next episode of Mine Z H C whatever zombie survival guys. God damn it! Please zombie kill that son of a gun. I'll see you all next time.